Do you see this egg? It's about to do something amazing. I'm trying the viral bouncing egg experiment by soaking this raw egg in vinegar for 24 hours. Let's see what happens. When I remove the egg from the vinegar, the shell has dissolved into a sort of paste. I can wipe it off with my fingernails and it leaves behind a squishy, rubbery egg. The vinegar has completely dissolved the egg shell and it's left behind the egg's membrane, which is flexible and rubbery. The membrane holds the egg's contents together. It's soft and stretchy because it's made out of proteins and it's no longer protected by the hard shell. The egg is swollen in size as well. It's now noticeably bigger than the original. Definitely an experiment worth trying. Simple, fun, worked perfectly. Did you know that you can grow chia seeds on a sponge? Watch this. I sprinkled seeds on a wet sponge. By day three, they started to sprout. And by day eight, voila, a mini chia garden. Try it at home and watch the magic grow. <laughs> Hi, friends. Let's make a walking water rainbow. If you draw a rainbow on both sides of a paper towel and then dip the ends in water, watch what happens. The water climbs up the paper towel and it carries the colors with it. This is called capillary action, just like how a plant drinks water from its roots. Cool, right? Yeah! Try this for yourself and make your own magic rainbow. Happy experimenting! Do you see these chicken bones? They're about to do something amazing! I'm taking these bones and I'm going to soak them in vinegar for a few days to see what happens. And look, now they're spongy and bendy and flexible. Wow. But why does this happen? Bones are made of calcium, which makes them very strong and hard. Vinegar is an acid that dissolves the calcium, leaving only the soft, stretchy parts behind. This is what happens to our bones if we don't get enough calcium. They become weaker over time. Try this fun experiment at home. Happy experimenting! Hi, friends. Did you know you can make a paper clip float? Let's try it out. First, I drop a paper clip in the water. It sinks right away, but watch this. If I place a paper clip on a small piece of paper towel, rest it on a fork, and gently lower it into the water, the paper towel sinks, but the paper clip stays on top. That's because of surface tension, a special force that holds water together, almost like an invisible skin. Pretty cool, right? Yay! Try it at home. Happy experimenting! <laughs> Have you ever seen an orange glow from the inside? Let's try a little science experiment. I placed a party sparkler right into an orange and lit it up. Now normally a sparkler burns bright, but when it reaches the orange... Whoa! Instead of going out, it makes the orange glow like a little lantern. Look at those tiny dancing lights! Try this one with an adult's help and let me know. Happy experimenting! <laughs> Hi friends! Have you ever wondered what soda does to your teeth? Let's find out. I dropped this eggshell into a glass of Coca-Cola and let it sit. And when I took it out, look at that! It's turned completely brown. Eggshells are made of calcium carbonate, just like the outer layer of your teeth, called enamel. The dark color from the soda sticks to the shell, just like it can stain your teeth over time. So remember, drink water and brush your teeth and limit sugary drinks, and it'll help keep your smile bright. Place Skittles around the edge of a plate in rainbow order. Then pour warm water in the middle of the plate and watch what happens. Wow, the colors are spreading beautifully. Uh-oh, my plate wasn't flat. This didn't work perfectly. Let's try again. Wow, look at the colors spread. This happens because the coating dissolves and the water carries the color towards the center. Science is so cool. Try this at home and make sure you use a flat plate for the best <laughs> result. Happy experimenting. Hi friends, today we're doing an awesome science experiment, magic milk. First, I poured some milk into a shallow dish and then I added a few drops of food coloring right in the center. Now here comes the magic. I dipped a Q-tip into dish soap and gently touched the center of the food coloring. Whoa! The colors explode and swirl into a beautiful pattern. But wait, when I try it again with more soap, nothing really happens. Hmm, what's going on? That's because the dish soap breaks the surface tension of the milk. But once the soap spreads out, there's no more magic reaction left. Even though the reaction stopped, the final design looks so cool. Just like a colorful painting. Yeah. Happy experimenting. <laughs> Hi friends. Let's do some experiments with static. If you rub a balloon in your hair, 
It creates static electricity, and that can be fun to play with. Look at this butterfly. It's just a piece of tissue paper, but watch what happens when I bring the balloon close. Whoa, it's flying. It jumps right onto the balloon, and when I pull it away, it gets pulled right back. Look, it even sticks to my hand without me holding it. Static electricity is like tiny invisible magnets. It makes things attract to each other. The butterfly is drawn to the balloon every time. But wait, oh, my balloon popped. Was it the static or was it just too full of air? Hmm, science is full of surprises. 